Something different, a change. That's what Iranian voters hope for with their newly elected president, Hassan Rouhani, and now those hopes will be put to the test. Rouhani is due to be publicly inaugurated on Sunday. He'll take over the presidency from Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. At a ceremony in the capital, Iran's supreme leader Ayatollah Khamenei endorsed the election. Rouhani won the presidential poll in June and was elected on a platform of moderation. The 64-year-old is a former nuclear negotiator for the country who also spent time as an Islamic activist before the revolution in 1979. It's because of Rouhani's openness that Euronews says it could signal a change in the relationship Iran has with the West following the eight strained years of the Ahmadinejad presidency. But Rouhani faces a enormous challenges, the first being tensions over Iran's nuclear program. The U.S. and its allies have accused Iran of trying to make a nuclear bomb. Iran, on the other hand, has continually called its program peaceful. The disagreement has led to the toughest international sanctions the country has ever faced, and the result of those have created a crumbling economy in Iran. Bans on oil exports on its central bank and on currency trading have hit the economy hard and it's in a mess. There's also high unemployment, high inflation and a devalued currency. But recent statements from Rouhani have some questioning whether his rule will be any different than his predecessors. At an annual celebration to show solidarity with Palestinians in Jerusalem, Rouhani was quoted saying, Israel is a wound on the body of the world of Islam that must be destroyed. To which the Washington Post described as rhetoric common among Iran's hardliners, such as the departing President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and the Supreme Leader Khamenei, it seemed a dramatic departure for Rouhani. And while widely seen as a moderate, a writer for Fox News is quick to point out that Rouhani's normal conservative behavior might be a false front. In reality, Ahmadinejad and Rouhani might really be one of the same. He believes he's criticizing his predecessor for being a wolf in wolf clothing. His strategy is be a wolf in sheep's clothing, smile and build a bomb. Ahmadinejad or Rahini, it makes no difference. Tehran's nuclear zero hour spins closer and closer. Rahini's term as president officially started Saturday. He'll be Iran's seventh president. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey. Multiple sources, a broader view.